We got a question here from, is this an email or a phone call from Chattahoochee, Florida? Is, is Mickey on the phone right now? Yes. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Yes, I am. What can I do for you, sir? I'm fine, Leo. How are you doing? I'm great. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Um, yes, I did. I love the show. Thank you, sir. But uh, I got an email. Yes. And it had an attachment. Oh, don't tell me you opened it. No, oh, yes, I know better, but I did. Anyway, and the attachment was, I'm your poison. Oh, that's a bad one. Yeah. What and, happened? Um, it wasn't open, so I just continued to read my email. Yeah. In just a few minutes, I got an email from a friend <laughs> on my list said that he had received it. Thanks, me, Mickey, for I sending me it. <laughs> and I didn't send it to him at no, all. You did, though. You did. That's how that email works. And um, we're having a lot of problems with, yeah. um, from slow computers to just meltdowns almost. Right. That's it. And I was wondering, is there, is there any way to get rid of it without formatting the hard drive? Yes, there is. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But okay. can I just, people, I want people to learn from your, and it's, it's a simple mistake, Mickey. Anybody could do it. But, Mickey, you know what I say on the show. Don't open attachments. Yes, sir. Right? That's right. Right. You've learned, and your friend has learned. Yes, sir. Especially if they say something like, I'm your poison. What did you think it was? <laughs> Well, I thought it was a cartoon or something like that. <laughs> well, don't feel, don't feel bad because you know what? It happens to all of us. In fact, there's a very well-known television personality. I'm not going to name any names. It's not me, but it's somebody you know well. The same exact thing happened to him. Well, I uh, really didn't think I was doing anything wrong. And then uh, one day I just popped open an email. and Bingo, bango, bongo. There it is. I got it. And... Uh, I'm not proud of it. I'm... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Mickey, don't feel bad. It happened to Scott. In fact, I spent, I spent a couple of hours at Scott's house. He got something called cacworm. So let me show you what you do. You figured out it was a virus, didn't you? Right. How'd it's you a figure... worm virus, I believe. It's called a worm. That's right. Worm, what a worm means is a virus that goes, uh, spreads itself over the network. They're all, I use viruses kind of as a catch-all. There's Trojan horses, there's worms, and there's traditional viruses. And, you know, there's not much difference between them. All of them sneak onto your computer. And some of them are destructive, some of them aren't. Some of them are just annoying. Yours is mostly just annoying. Here, when you think you've got a virus, the first thing you do is go to an antivirus research center. There are many of them on the web. McAfee has one called AVERT, A V. ERT, the Antivirus Alert Resource Center or whatever. I use uh, the Symantec Antivirus Research Center, SARC.com, just because it's easier for me to remember. Um, so the first thing when you, got, when you get a virus is you go here and you see if you can figure out what that virus is. And um, you see these are the ones in the front are the most common ones out there right now. And then you can scroll down and see some other ones. And then if you don't see what you want, which we don't, you can, you can type in, I'm your poison and find it. Um, they also have a virus encyclopedia. What you're going to look for is, oh, it didn't find it. It didn't find I'm your poison. I think that's a pretty common virus. But, you know, I'm your poison is the subject. Uh, once you find, I'll give you an example. This is the one that, uh, this is the, uh, the one that Scott found was cacworm. Once you figure out what the virus is, what Sark does so well is they describe the virus. They say how common it is. Uh, they say what kind of damage threat it, provide, it poses, uh, how hard it is to remove, uh, how it spreads. And most of them do spread by email now, right, uh, Mickey, so you're not alone. And then down here, they'll tell you how to remove it. In fact, in this particular case, they have, for CACWORM, they have a removal program, which I used effectively uh, with Scott. Um, so what you're going to have to do is find, I'll find the... Uh, the link. I can't remember what the name of the, po the virus is. Do you have an antivirus program? Yes, I run uh, Norton System Works. And uh, it did not detect it, or it did? It didn't. Um, the friend that I got the email back from said he couldn't open it. Right. Discovered it was uh, By the way, lovers.exe or something like what's that. What's it called? Lovers.exe. Lovers. Right. By the way, I should say that when you think it's not opening, what's happening is you double-clicked it. Nothing happened, but it actually did its thing. Right. You just didn't know it because it didn't put some picture up on the screen. Some of them do, some of them don't. You think it's not opening, it is. So I guess um, what I would say at this point is we're gonna, I'm going to find that virus for you, and, and we'll put the information up uh, for you. Um, yeah. The other thing to do is update that antivirus. Have you updated Norton lately? Um, yes, sir. I went and did that. And it still didn't find it.
Um, nope. And that's what's happening lately, by the way. These viruses are spreading so fast, they mutate so easily, that it may be that Norton doesn't know where it is. Uh, what you should do is get it, that thing in quarantine, get that file in quarantine, and send it to them so they can identify it. These are the basic rules. I want everybody to, to memorize these key rules. Number one, number one, and most important, don't open attachments, all right? There is a more elaborate rule that says don't open executables, but basically just don't open attachments. Do have an antivirus software. Mickey did. That wasn't enough. It's important that you also update regularly, and not just your antivirus, but, for instance, if Scott had updated his email package, he wouldn't have gotten CACWORM. It, it took advantage of a bug in Outlook Express. So update, use Windows Update to update your operating system and your browser and your email package on a regular basis. That's true on the Mac side, too. Those same exact rules hold true. I'm going to find this virus for you. Uh, we'll do a search. And there will be disinfection instructions in there to answer your question specifically, Mickey. I'm going to have to go in here and find it. Um, you could follow those instructions and do it manually. I'm surprised your antivirus didn't detect it. I think it's important that you get that a copy of that virus to Norton so they can analyze it and add protection. But that's the problem these days, folks. That's why I say don't open attachments, because even if you're running an antivirus, you can still get infected. These things spread so fast, and they mutate. I'm sorry, Mickey, but uh, thank you for sharing that experience with us, because that way everybody kind of learned a little lesson. Shall I say it again? Don't open attachments, okay? I'm going to turn red here.